I'm Mary V. Today let's talk about pizzicato. So there's really two types of pizzicato mainly that you have to do and one is fast pizzicato. And another is um, a louder, more ringing pizzicato where it's almost like off the string. So you have to arrange your bowing arm to do it effectively. Playing fast notes, I ne generally tuck my bow from this. I generally tuck it in there and use my middle finger. But you may have been taught to play pizzicato by putting your thumb on the edge of the fingerboard, on the outside corner of the fingerboard, and using your first finger. So uh, that's one way of doing it and it's a little more uh, restricted, more rigid. So if you can sort of get used to um, being free, um, if you want to use your first finger, that's fine. But generally you do pizzicato somewhere near the fingerboard because if you uh, do it, say, in the middle where the, um, the bow normally plays, say, more or less in the middle, there's an awful lot of um, rosin there and your fingers are getting incredibly sticky um, and also it just sounds more much more strangled and there's less resonance if you the higher up the string you play it so generally people play sort of more or less just at the beginning of the fingerboard you can play it a little bit lower for very very quiet pizzicato but remember the strings get narrower the further up the um, fingerboard they go towards the nut and the accuracy is a little more tricky to not hit the other strings when the strings are getting narrower. So that's really the optimum place to do pizzicato. So let's go on to the ringing type of um, pizzicato like this. So the string um, is tightest over the bridge and at the nut and in this sort of position here quite far down into the fingerboard the strings are very loose and that's very advantageous to do a nice uh, chord there a loose chord like that so let me show you what that sounds like a little bit higher up here okay the strings are too tight to do the same sort of um, vibration and looseness that they had down here. But if you watch carefully, you can see my fingers flattening. See? Let it ring for as long and listen to the ring um, because the whole of the note fading into nothing it's very important to wait for that you've got to watch very carefully what you do with your bow if you leave your bow in the hand to do this note you've got to be extremely careful not to um, not to hit the string with this part of the little nut there the middle nut um, not to pr pull the strings out of place too hard. So you're not really, you're stroking the strings, but you can do it um, quite fast and that produces um, a really lovely effect. It's a big movement. And the violin's still ringing, okay? So you can do it so fast that it doesn't spread it so much. So it's a beautiful effect and it allows your violin to really reverberate. Be very careful with um, not pulling the strings 
too hard, you can actually dislodge them out of place from the bridge if you, if you actually curve your finger and pull like this. I'm not going to do it, <laughs> but I'll just show you. If you do it like this, just using the finger without softening it with the hand, uh, you're going to do some damage there. So you've got to learn, just uh, start very slowly and very gently. And the next thing to do is, can you do it with your eyes closed? Um, can you sense exactly where the strings are? Now, this is a good one because if you keep hitting the other strings, you can refine your, your sense of where the strings are. So that's obviously a great one for sensing where the strings are and getting a lot of accuracy in your pizzicato. Because um, when you start playing a lot of pizzicato and you practice it, you'll find that you're hitting, you're hitting two strings at once quite often. So it's, it's a, a little movement, but it can be quite flamboyant as well. So it takes a lot of skill to get the accuracy. And uh, practice going from uh, strings to pizzicato, like that I may, if there's a lot of pizzicato, I'll tuck the bow into my hand and just play like that, is because um, it's, it's easier for the hand and if you're in an orchestra, most players will end up um, making the bow weightless by um, putting it in the air uh, vertically and you, it doesn't weigh anything. Whereas if you do this, it still weighs on your hand and it's quite um, taxing doing a lot of pizzicato with the bow feeling rather heavy in your hand. So when you do that. So you need to work out what the best sound is and then you need to organize that you don't hit the violin or do any damage to the strings or to accidentally knock the the wood uh, of the violin with the bow so you've got to arrange all these things slowly and work out what is best for you and then work out how to go from um, playing position on the string to pizzicato and just start getting used to moving between those two quite quickly so there's a lot in pizzicato it can you know a beautiful um, open ringing pizzicato is a beautiful sunday thing so just throw your arm in like that and let it ring and see how long you can allow the string to ring for still ringing so that's what to aim for a beautiful resonant sound always beautiful so that's pizzicato, there's a lot in it, there's a lot to work out and arrange and uh, I hope you enjoy getting the best uh, pizzicato out of your violin. So I'll say bye bye for now.